In this tutorial, we will discuss a common problem that occurs in different situations. I will give you a few scenarios. You might be interviewing someone and it's all going great, but then they pause at some point for way too long. How do you seamlessly stitch that jump cut if you don't want an obvious cross dissolve? Or maybe you have one to two bad frames somewhere in a render and you don't want to re-render. I'm going to show you an example in this lesson, but the same technique can be applied to either of these scenarios, and I'm sure a few more. You can download the project called TUT0029 Replace Missing Frames, and you can work along with me or you can try the tutorial on your own after. Also, this tutorial is part of a series, so you should either already know how to do the basic morph using Reflex or you have watched the tutorials on the basics. If there is a basic concept that you do not understand, I suggest you go back and watch those tutorials. Keep in mind that the following technique is appropriate for the example that I'm showing and would be for similar scenarios, but this technique would not be appropriate for every scenario. In this particular case, I have some footage that was shot with the Canon 5D. There is a one second pause in the video caused by a feature in the camera that allows you to take a high res still while recording video. If I play this shot, you can hear the camera click and then you see a pause. Or this way, right there. What we're going to do is use Reflex Morph to morph between the first frame of the pause and the first frame after the pause. This will create a seamless transition. Let's see how to do it. We have already done the pre-comp and added Reflex Morph. I have set up the picture keys and now I can run through them so you understand how I did it. I have this first picture key set to on at frame 13 because it's the last good frame of the section. And then the next frame, frame 14, is set to off because it is the first repeated frame or frame we don't use. So when a frame is set to off, then we replace the frame with the nearest on frames from each side. Then frame 44 is the first good frame after the pause, so I have it set to on. Next we have the first bad frame of the second section at frame 104, and we set that to off. And then the last picture key is set to on at frame 134, which is the first new good frame after the second pause. We can see that most of the features nearly line up. We can turn on auto align and smart blend, and it's almost a perfect match automatically. Let's see a RAM preview. I'm going to go ahead and add a few splines to make these morphs so they are seamless. You set the spline up the same way you've seen in the other tutorials. The one thing to note here is that the spline is only being used where the picture keys are, so that's where we have to make sure that it matches. I will go to each keyframe that I have a picture key and set a keyframe for the spline. I will go ahead and set up the rest of the splines now let's do another RAM preview and take a look at the result. So this is how you can make a seamless transition to replace missing frames using Reflex Morph. Or this way, right there. <laughs> 